Welcome to Kosh Academy, Unwinding the Kosh of Your Knowledge. This video is in continuation with Identify by Properties topic. In this video, we'll see when and how to use wildcard in identifying or control by properties. We'll consider an example of Tricentis Demo Web Shop. I have added two products to the cart. Now let's scan this shopping cart link. I've already scanned it here. By default, the control is identified using its inner text, having this value, shopping cart, two in circular braces. As we know, we can have any combination of properties to identify the control, but for demo purpose, we'll consider inner text only. Let's save this as it is to create a module. I have already created a module for shopping cart link. Now let's add another product to the card. Count. Now, now we have three items in the shopping card. Tosca, I have already created a test case using the same module. Now we'll try to click on the shopping cart link. Let's give it a run in Scratchbook. Taking longer than usual to execute, we'll wait for the results. And we have hit an error over here. Link shopping cart was not found. Now, if we analyze the application, we understand that the number of products in the cart are now three. And the control we are using is identified for two products added in the cart. Due to this, the control was not identified during runtime. So we get that the inner text property has some part of it as dynamic and we need to make it stable in order to work irrespective of any number of items in the card. Hence, we'll use an asterisk, which is a wildcard in Tricentis Trosca. As we use wildcard, the part of the value or string after it is completely ignored by Tosca. Now let's navigate to the model attribute. the inner text property and we'll put an asterisk over here. Now it's up to you whether you want to delete the part of the string after it or you can keep it as it is. But the best practice are to remove it. And now we'll give it a run again. So now it is clicking successfully on the shopping cart link. So every time we add or remove any products to and from the shopping cart, the number gets completely ignored and the control gets identified by the static part of the inner text value. In this way, you can make your controls more stable by using wildcard. You can try the same thing for identifying the control for the wishlist link over here for your reference. Happy learning.